Hey there, I'm Larissa from Beekeeping Made Simple, and this video is about how to spot eggs. It is important to be able to find eggs within your beehive. You don't actually have to find the queen almost ever, but it's good to see eggs for quite a few reasons, really. To make sure that you have a healthy, viable queen, to be able to tell if you requeen, if she is successful and she is doing her thing. Oh my God, I just punched a honeybee on my hands. I should really keep the amount of arm moving to a minimum. Ouch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough with the intro. Let's go on to opening up a beehive. So when you first get your bees, your hive is small, and that's when you work on your egg spotting and your queen spotting and everything else that you need to identify in the hive. When your hive gets larger, it's going to be harder to spot everything because there's tens of thousands of bees walking around. If that's too late and the hive is big, then make that a priority for next year. And also later on in this year when your hive is going to get smaller again. So when you're looking for eggs, you're gonna find them in the brood boxes. Sometimes the queen goes up into your honey boxes and lays eggs, but that's not often. So we're gonna start with what's most common. First two boxes on your beehive are your brood boxes. The lower most box, the first box is what I'm gonna call it, is where the majority of the baby bees are, the brood. And so that is um, your best chance at finding eggs. The second box is usually half brood, half food. I'm gonna put some gloves on because since I was stung, that pheromone is now on my hands and I don't want it getting the bees all upset, smelling that sting on my hands. And of course, you know, stinging me again. Next, when you are using foundation, if you are using foundation in your hive, use black foundation because the eggs are white. And so the eggs will appear a little bit more easily on black foundation than yellow foundation. This is foundation. And so it's a lot harder to see eggs on this yellow stuff. You know, of course, if you're a beginner and you've never actually seen eggs before, really the biggest part is to just finally see them for the first time. And then it's a lot easier to spot it after that. So this is what an egg looks like. It's kind of the shape of a grain of rice, but considerably smaller. And when the queen first lays an egg, it's going to be standing straight up. And then it's going to lean over and eventually fall over. And on day three, it is going to hatch into a tiny little worm we call a larva. And when it is that tiny little larva on that first day, it is really hard to see those guys, like super, super hard. It's actually easier to see eggs than it is to see those little day old larva. If you see your queen, look really hard on that frame and the frame on either side of it for eggs because the queen's the one laying the eggs. There's only one bee laying eggs in your hive and that is the queen. So if you see her walking around then she probably laid eggs on that frame. But you wanna check the frame on either side of that frame with the queen on it. Cause sometimes when you pull a frame out it's pretty common for her to just jump and to move on to a frame next to it. Next, it's good to go out in the sun when looking at your uh, frames to look for eggs. You're gonna look at the frames that look like they're empty in the brood. Those are the ones you're gonna take a really good look at. And you want to look in the light and just rotate the frame like this to make sure that you are seeing really well in the cells. So here, we have some pupa and we have some empty cells. Now it's, there's a good chance these cells are just gonna be empty because there's bees hatching on this frame and there's still pupating bees on this frame. So a queen might not have gotten to this frame yet. If it's not sunny out, 
which is good for the beekeeper because it makes for not getting so hot and sweaty while checking your bees. But hard to spot eggs. So bring a flashlight so that you can shine a nice bright light into your frame. It's, it can be really hard to spot eggs when your comb is really dark like this. So you might want to scrape this wax out and harvest it and use it for candle making and other things and put an empty frame in for the bees to build new comb. It was really hard actually for me to even see the eggs on this frame but at a second glance, I found them. Here we have a frame of honey. You can look on these frames, do a quick check, but the chances that there's eggs on a frame of honey, pretty slim. And then that next frame is honey too. So let's go down into the brood, the first brood box, which is usually where you find all your eggs. Alrighty, we have kept brood, pupa, what we call pupa. We have some larva, but most of it is kept brood. There's just tiny little bit of larva. You need to find a bigger section of larva. So on this frame, I see that there's pupating bees. And then over here, inside the cells, are larger larvae. And then the larvae get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then when I look with the light shining in, I can see eggs right in here. So I hope that helps you while you're trying to find eggs in your beehive. I can't stress enough looking for eggs when your hive is small when you first get it in the springtime. And also just going out with a beekeeper and letting them, uh, letting you shadow them while they check a hive. Going to your local bee association is a great way to network with them or to go to your local association's Facebook page. Now let's put this beehive back together before they get really mad at me.
One second, I have a bee in my bonnet. <laughs> Just kidding. In my suit sleeve. <laughs>